Okay, so I'm going to show you how to port forward Modern Warfare. And currently this is still working as of January 5th, 2020. The way I'm going to show you is the simplest way to do it, or at least the simplest way that I have found. Okay, so I want to keep this video as to the point as possible, so let's get right into it. For this method of port forwarding, you're going to need access to your router. So keep in mind you're going to need your credentials to sign into your router. And you're also going to need to know your IP address. The easiest way to find your IP address in Windows 10 is to right click on this little Windows icon, which you can find at the bottom left hand screen of your desktop, and click on search. Now go ahead and type the letters CMD and hit enter. Okay, so now you have opened up the command prompt. Now all you have to do is type in ipconfig and hit enter. Now, depending on your home network, many things can pop up here, but we're going to be focusing on the IPv4 address. So now might be a good time to write down that IPv4 number for later. Also, take note of the default gateway number because you're going to need that to sign into your router. So now that we've gotten all those fancy numbers, let's go ahead and open up your favorite browser. I'm using Firefox here. Now enter that default gateway number into the address bar. Most likely it's going to be 192.168.1.1. You should now be at your router login page. This is where you're going to need those router login credentials. So if you know them, go ahead and enter them. If not, go ask mom and dad for it. And if you have some rad mom and dads, hopefully they'll help you out. Now this is where things change depending on what brand of router you have. But essentially you need to find the section where you port forward. I happen to have a Asus gaming router. So my port forwarding section is under the WAN tab and then under virtual server slash port forwarding. But yours is most likely going to be different. You can usually find this in the manual or online or just snoop around until you find it. So once you're in your port forwarding section, we're going to add two ports. Like I said, all of these are going to be different, but uh, it should be like add profile or add port. And the first one is going to be called IW. Protocol is going to be UDP. External port is going to be 28950. Internal port 28950. And then you enter your internal IP address, which is that IPv4 address that you wrote down earlier. Hit OK, and you're done with the first one. Only one more to go. So go ahead and add another one. The name is going to be MW. I guess you could name this whatever you want, but if you want to follow what I named it, go right ahead. So the name is going to be MW. Protocol is the same, UDP. External port is going to be 3074, internal port 3074. Then put your IPv4 address where the internal IP address field is and hit OK. We still have one more thing to do though before we're done. For all of this to work, you need to disable your firewall while you play Modern Warfare or it will disable the ports. So I'm going to show you how to turn off your firewall real quick. From the desktop, go to the search function and type in firewall. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. When that opens, look on the left hand side of the window and click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Make sure your private network settings and public network settings are turned to off. Hit OK and you're ready to go. So now when you open your game, you should see NAT type open. I hope this helped anyone out that was having issues port forwarding. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. I got a lot of new PC and PC gaming related content coming up in the future, so stay tuned for that. So have a great and wonderful weekend, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time. He slides in the first. Safe.